What is a plug-in hybrid? Uh, how is it different from a hybrid? How is it different from an all-electric car? Uh, these questions a lot of people are starting to consider as they're shopping for their next car. Um, I'm standing in front of my own plug-in hybrid, which is this Chevy Volt, and I'll be more than happy to tell you about it. Uh, um, and if you have any questions, of course, I'll be happy to answer them in the comment section. All right, let's get going. Take it over the world. If this is your first time here on my channel, welcome. And if you're interested in everything that's going on in the world of electric cars, you came to the right place, uh, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there. Uh, that way you won't miss anything moving forward. And I should remind you that this channel and this video is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla. There's a discount code that they've graciously gave our community to use so they can save themselves a few bucks. I am a fan and my Model S has a few of those accessories as well. All right, let's talk about plug-in hybrids. now. Uh, before I tell you what that is, I'll tell you what the hybrid is. So the hybrids, and you've seen uh, uh, quite a few of them, including uh, Toyota Prius, is when a, a, a gas engine and an electric motor work together. Now those cars only take gas. So once you put gas in there, the engine is actually creates uh, uh, either the power to uh, move the car forward with, uh, with it itself just like any other gas car, or it actually charges the tiny little battery uh, and then uh, it powers the little motor. A lot of times the regen braking also uh, uh, repowers that little battery and that's how the car moves forward. And many times those two, the engine and the motor, kind of work together to get your car forward. But those cars only take gas. Now, if we talk about all electric cars, those cars are, don't need gas at all. You just charge them at night. They have a huge battery and that's the battery that power, powers the entire car and the motor, the electric motor. There's absolutely no gas motor. There's absolutely no gas. And, you know, obviously um, um, automakers like Tesla make cars that are only electric. So now what is a plug-in hybrid? Now plug-in hybrid is kind of in between. So it does have a gas engine, usually a very small one, and you can actually put gas in it. But it also has a pretty big battery and you can charge that as well. Now, those technology work uh, kind of uh, in harmony together. Uh, the plug-in hybrid like this, Volt, it can actually take you, you know, up to 55 miles just on absolutely all electric power and then it will kick the uh, gas engine in if you still need it and then it will just operate just like a, um, a hybrid car. But a lot of people who own these cars, uh, many times they don't put gas into these cars for weeks because the range for just everyday driving is very acceptable. So, um, and some of the plug-in hybrids have the engine, the, uh, the gas engine um, and the motor work together. Sometimes the motor would be operating, but if there, there needs to be a heater, um, extra power going for the heater or, or just more power when you want to, you know, kind of a, a floor the car, well, uh, you know, that's when the a gas engine comes in and helps the all electric uh, uh, motor um, to kind of produce more power. Um, so as you can see, these, these are technologies that are consistently working together. We, of course, we're all moving towards the all electric cars and that's what's going to happen over the next few years. But these cars, I would suggest, um, as I call it, a great gateway drug. If you're not quite sure if you wanna go with an all electric car and have to worry about charging or running out of energy, but you still wanna buy a, in, and drive a, an electric car, at least a car that you can uh, drive on an electric power most of the time then a plug-in hybrid with a decent range and an all-electric range like a Chevy uh, Volt is definitely the car for you of course you get to have a carpool sticker in, in states like California uh, where there are perks for that in many states and countries there's still rebates that you would get when you're buying this car so they're cheaper to buy and of course you will spend much much less money on gas even if you have to buy gas sometimes you just don't some months you go without buying that and of course electricity is much much cheaper you do need to have a home charger in order to charge these cars at home that's where it's recommended however there are plenty of uh, charging stations that are being built right now and some of the uh, some of the workplaces and in the work campuses now have charging stations as well so this way I just you know I, I don't want to expand any further or or, or kind of talk about whether or not you should buy one because that's kind of a personal decision but I just kind of wanted to let you guys know what this 
technology really is. Essentially, it's it's your um, it's your electric car that has uh, the old school gas technology, just in case, so you don't have any kind of range anxiety. And if you really need to, you can you know go ahead and use uh, that gas tank and 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 gas that car when you're going on a long distance trip, or you've just been driving a lot in one day. All right, I hope this made sense. If you still have questions, please put them in the comment section, and I will be more than happy to answer them. Maybe I'll even do a follow-up video. There are a couple of other videos on my channel. That's why I definitely invite you to subscribe uh, about uh, this particular car, my car, the reasons why I bought it, and quite a few other plug-in hybrids, and definitely a lot of electric cars that we talk about this channel. So go ahead and subscribe. Other than that, see you next time, and remember to stay charged.